The hours are counting down for the landfall of Tropical Storm slash Hurricane Nicholas just outside the coast of Texas and Louisiana this morning. And it's going to be a long day going into tomorrow morning. I have the most updated charts on landfall time, amount of rainfall, and the updated storm surge charts that cover the coast of Texas and Louisiana. I will break this all down for you as well as something we need to watch coming off the west coast of Africa. We could see one of our long-term storms coming right up towards the northeast of the United United States and boy oh boy does that look familiar here we go Good morning, my friends. It is September 13th, 2021, 1015 AM. Gonna try to make this a short and quick one so we can get the info out, but you are looking at the current satellite images here on the College of DuPage website of Tropical Storm Nicholas may become a hurricane upon landfall. And believe it or not, that's not even the main concern of Nicholas. So we're not really expecting this big giant windstorm knocking trees over and blowing roofs off houses. We don't have to really worry about that. Although a category one to two hurricane can absolutely absolutely do that. This storm is going to be more known as we switch over to a lower level water vapor chart. Again, this storm is going to be known for its rain totals and its flooding. So we have a coastal storm surge that's going to come with this storm as a category one or a high grade tropical storm. And then on top of that, we have the amount of rain it's going to drop on areas, sort of what you see in this chart. Of course, a lot of this can change. This is a forecast as if the storm is going to run into that area between Houston and Corpus Christi. We talked yesterday about this, that in in order for this to become a hurricane, chances are it would have to stay off the coast of southern Texas. This kind of sticks out a little bit here. Even that little bit could be enough to touch the eye wall or whatever eye wall there is for Nicholas. That could significantly weaken the strength of the storm, but nothing's going to change the amount of rain and flooding that this storm is being predicted to bring. Take a look at some of these numbers. Here's some information from one of the meteorologists I follow. Hurricane hunters found a big jump north overnight last night as Maine Convection Ball is now the new center. Basically, they're talking about a shift in the speed of the storm and when it's going to make landfall. But take a look at this. This will bring action sooner for the Texas, Louisiana area still discussing pockets of rain possible close to 20 inches. So once again, take that 20 inches of rain, even if it's 15, 12, you know, anything over a foot is a significant amount of water. Now take the storm surge, whether that be two to four feet, three to five, or even one to three closer to Louisiana, if that's what takes place, we're talking a lot of water and for multiple days. So we're seeing a kind of stall out here. And what you're going to notice is as Nicholas approaches the coast of Texas and Louisiana, whichever one it makes landfall with, what happens after landfall is very significant. So we don't have a speeding storm taken off towards the northeast this time like we did with other storms that hit the gulf and then come straight up this thing actually sits here and we can see those isobars still in the circular formation over texas and louisiana moving into the 14th which is tomorrow so what we're seeing here basically is more than likely a landfall in texas but because of the stall out of this storm that's why we're seeing the flooding going basically from corpus christi all the way through the western half of the louisiana coast as well because over that three-day period it's going to kind of blob back and forth over the coastlines of both states and just so you guys know I'm not the only one out here saying that this could be a hurricane. This is Shay Gibson from the Weather Channel saying Tropical Storm Nicholas up to 60 miles an hour with deepening convection as we speak which means this could easily make a run for hurricane status upon landfall. But like I said again, at this point with the amount of rain, it's probably not going to matter whether it's a high-grade tropical storm or a low-grade Category 1 hurricane. Either way, that's going to be a big issue, and I'll keep you guys updated with a video on Nicholas shortly, but we're going to talk about something right now. We spoke yesterday about disturbance number two here, possibly turning into a tropical storm slash hurricane to the northeast, but also a northeast situation is Invest 95L. Take a look at this. In fact, we're already expecting this to become a hurricane. As of right now, we got about 20 knots of wind speed. The gusts are not available at the moment. 1,010 millibars in pressure and a long, long way to go. Usually we don't have model intensity guidance charts this soon after a storm leaves the west coast of Africa, but we could see right away this thing wants to shoot right to a category one, maybe even before reaching the Leeward and Lesser Antilles Islands. This could happen anywhere between three and four days from now, but take a look at the path and lifespan of this storm, at least as of now with the data 
data we have looking eerily similar to a storm called Larry we just dealt with and a mimicking version of the storm we compared it to, Hurricane Aaron back in 2001. Once again, my friends, we are seeing a big group of storms coming off the west coast of Africa, crossing through the Cape Verde Islands. We could begin our lifespan right here on September 14th or right now, the day before that. And we all know what these potential storms can do with this amount of space, the warm water, and the momentum of peak hurricane season, which we are very much in. And we may be dealing with a situation in the next week where the northeast or at least the east coast of the United States is preparing for a hurricane landfall. In fact, I was able to go back and get the view of the last few days of Hurricane Larry and take a look at this. Very similar, goes up towards Newfoundland and takes off. And then as we fast forward through Nicholas here in the Gulf of Mexico, we see the possibility of Odette forming by the Cape Verde Islands and then that long, long trip. We see it once again, almost mimicking Hurricane Larry. My friends, as I said, it's going to be a long day for the Gulf. I'll have an update video later on this evening if I possibly can. I have some work to do later on, but I will absolutely keep you guys posted via the Twitter handle and or the community section on the YouTube channel. Shout out to Canada, my friends, and I hope you're all safe. Any questions or concerns, please leave down below, and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.